So, Michael, tell us, what are we doing today? Polishing helmets. Polishing helmets? Yeah. So we've got some of these awesome medieval helmets that are... Oh, but look, there's a shiny one. <laughs> a shiny one, Michael. So what exactly are we doing to these? Pouring some magic liquid. Was it... Black magic. Yes, that's right. So basically, we've got these awesome, weird, esoteric-looking helmets for our bad guys in this fantasy movie we're doing. And the helmets are really bright and shiny, but we want them to look kind of more dark, battle, kind of... Those are some killer seagulls above us. Um, so we're cleaning the oil off the helmets, and we're putting this cool kind of blue chemical treatment stuff that basically darkens them, and then we have to kind of polish and buff them. So the difference in theory should be between something that looks really shiny, like when it was new, and then we're getting them more gray and darker. There's like a comparison there. And uh, there'll be some colors and some weird stuff that we'll be adding to the helmets as well for this kind of evil esoteric army. So yeah, filmmaking isn't always glamorous. A lot of it is just dirty bits of paper, water, oil and rubber gloves hey guys it's the team everyone packing boots for the kickstarter we've got tom we've got sonia michael's better half uh, <laughs> who thought cousin michael actually had a lady friend for his oh, and she's beautiful and very helpful thank uh, you so much and, and, and you're beautiful as well tom thank you <laughs> and sarah hi, hi. darling hi so there's like all these books, in case all you guys are a bit rest assured, there's an army of, of, of macabre horror elves working hard to get things all sent. Isn't that right, Michael? Yep. Yeah. Today we are trying to get our costumes sorted for this fantasy movie, and we're trying to get the bad guys looking really awesome. So far the good guys look awesome, but the bad guys don't. We need a little bit more work, even though we've got some cool helmets and stuff for them. Also, Neil is busy at work making a new toilet. Hello. Hello, Laurie. How's it going? It's a bit shitty, but it's okay. Ha, ha, ha. So we're going to have a toilet in here and in this other entrance, we will have a toilet again. And this will get all made nice. And there will also be a shower cubicle over here. Bye, Neil. Bye, Laurie. Hooray, Laurie. So you may wonder why I bother having this. And apologies for my hair. It's, it's all greasy and matted and oh, yuck. This is the, the stress of work and uh, pre-production means that I've not a chance to wash my hair today. So what are we getting? Well, we're going to get some spray paint so we can make our bad guy helmets look pure black and evil. Oh, and who should we see on our way but our friend Jinx. Hey, Jinx. <laughs> so, Michael, first we need to go back to my house because... I need to um, use the little boys' room. What's wrong with the boys' room in there? It's a number two, Michael. So. <laughs> okay, so putting on my seatbelt, we're on our way. I think the audience at home are disappointed that my hair is looking really greasy. Yeah. Not good. Mm -hmm. do, do, do. Oh, hi. Hey. So, what are you doing today, Sarah? Uh, What's for lunch? This bowl of old grapes. Oh. It's all I deserve. You look really cute. I don't even have makeup on. Oh, I'm sorry. You look cute. I like your outfit. Thank you. It's like a cool 1970s kind of 
Yeah, the like a 70s secretary. Yay, and you're doing script stuff. Yeah. Wait, what, what script thing are you doing today? Um, I'm just putting some more dragon in this dragon film. Ah, cool, yeah, Extra our dragon. fantasy movie has a dragon yeah. in it. And it always needs more dragon. Sprinkling more dragon makes it good. Dragon magic. Dragon magic. Well, I'll let you get on because I have to go and get black spray paint. That sounds exciting. Yeah, and it's hard because I've got, um, well, unfortunately, greasy hair. Yeah, as you can see, I look like a kind of, kind of like a like a fat let himself go Leonardo DiCaprio. Aww, but that's what Leonardo DiCaprio looks like. Yay! <laughs> okay, catch you later. Bye. Mm -hmm. Stop. <laughs> Are you looking at internet pornography, Michael? No. I'll tell you later. Great, let's go get black paint. Woo! Uh, so what have we got here? The interiors of helmets. Oh, wow. So we bought about 5 million helmet liners so that we could put these inside helmets that don't have any liners. So look. Yeah, there you go. So you basically tie these up and then it stops the helmet going too far down on your head. They're actually pretty good quality. Oh God, my hair. Ah. Some nice results there, Michael. Ooh, looking kind of badass. Yeah. So it's looking pretty good so far. We just need to get some costume stuff started. And we can't show you too much more of this until we've made our announcement about the fantasy film. But this is what we're doing at the moment. Getting props ready, costumes. Now we're going to try on some clothes with uh, my courageous model, Michael. So how are you getting on there, Michael? I'm fine. <laughs> oh, you're all polite now. Bless you. What Michael said was, but he doesn't want to repeat, is I don't know why these pussies need someone else to help them put their helmet on. <laughs> Well, you can, if you do a new, a new take, I'll just, I'll just put my arms up and I'll say it. Okay, right. Okay, ready. I don't know why these pussies need somebody else to put their hel helmet on for them, because this is piss easy. <laughs> That's beautiful, Michael. You've got that part in these standards. You got the part. Yeah, I've got to say, yeah. It looks really good. I hope my king enjoys his cup of tea. Yes. This is like that, um, you know, that Greek hell where the grapes are just out of reach <laughs> and the water, when you try to drink it, it's just... <laughs> we, we all think of ancient mythological metaphors when you try to drink tea, tea, yeah. Sarah, what a mess you've made with this machine. Yeah, really mess. Must be in the fridge. All the sawdust everywhere. How badass does Michael look? Wow. It only took me a minute to get the chimney on. Is that a secret message for our dear friend Gavin Hugh, who was trying things on recently? It took him 42 minutes to get into this costume that Michael managed in just a minute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, off we go. Yeah. So it's a lovely rainy day today and we, we as in me, Michael and Tom, are off to take some photographs uh, for Tom's Kickstarter campaign for an awesome new creepy supernatural thriller that he's putting together. It's going to be your first movie, Tom, right? Yes, looking forward to it. And then the best way to start any terrifying adventure is by getting some creepy dolls from our little studio and going to an abandoned children's hospital <laughs> in the middle of a rainstorm. Yay! Happy Friday! 
Friday. Happy Friday. So yeah, that's gonna be great, eh, Michael? Yep, my favorite place. Your favorite place. <laughs> <laughs> so um, so yeah, uh, let's let's see what happens and let's uh, see who survives. Okay, here we are. Yeah. Hello, sir. Hello, hello. Getting some plastering done and the, the toilet. That's good. Let's have a look. See you soon. Bye bye. All right, ciao. Hi, Neil. Hello, Laurie. Look, Laurie. Oh, wow. You put one of the spears together. I've done all three. Oh, cool. Because I'm a hero. Can I use it on you? That's awesome. Yeah, all the stuff for our fantasy movie. So um, we're here today because we're going to go and uh, take photographs of Tom for his movie. Tom, Tom, the five or something. That's right. Yeah. Hmm. So that's that's the three of them done. You know, we actually, all we need is to get gold tassels there and then yeah. we can paint these black, I think. And then yeah, they'll look awesome. I, I, that one's the worst. These ones are much better. See, I've got them down. Oh, yeah. And so it's really cool. I'd say if you wanted to, you could actually put a bit of um, string and then, you know, because that would hide the, the screws. I think the tassel will hide it, like if it's, you know. Can I use this on you? No. <laughs> Thomas, can I use this on Laurie? She use it on Laurie. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, there's steel there. Oh, yeah. That's dangerous, eh? When I got that, I, I thought the, the balls would be rubber. Have you got rubber balls? That's you say? ridiculous. Laurie's got rubber balls. <laughs> But they're steel. Yeah, I've got steel balls. That's ridiculous. That's I scary. Don't, I don't think we should be taking that. Oh, that'll be fine, man. That'll be fine. <laughs> okay. Of course, this place is all filled with boots and mess. Part of this was caused by a recent flood. So we had to take all our stuff out from a basement and put it out to dry. That was a disaster. Hi, Michael. How are you doing? Are you having any luck? Torch, but it's not that big. Let's say uh, I'll ask Neil if he's got a bigger torch. Yeah, well, I think Tom's already doing that. Ah. Hi, Neil. Don't suppose you've got a big chunky torch anywhere, do you? No, that we, that we can... oh, I shine the light. I saw the light. So I don't get a singing part. Uh, no. That one, yeah. <laughs> There's a torch. Yeah, can we, well, what about the source four? <laughs> Toby. Toby, yeah, this is Toby, the ghost boy. Is that a doubt of the armless? Oh, that's kind of, uh, that'll get wet. Oh, Jesus. That might actually be better. Yeah. Um, but what's that one called again? I don't know. Isabella. Isabella. All right. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Check the baby shoe box. <laughs> I'm sure that there was one of my sister's dolls that has a shoe. Her doll? Yeah, I'm a bit sick. <laughs> that's, that's lovely. That's the one. You can't take them all home, Thomas. Thomas, they're not for you. Which one? The blue one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's got shoes that come off. Laura used to play with her when he was a little boy. And used to take the dolls and scare his sister. I can imagine that. Yeah, well, to be fair, my sister used to do a lot more creepy practical jokes than me when I was growing up. Is this yours, yeah. Laurie? Yeah. There we oh. are. Is it, did they come off? Yeah. Yay, there we are. Where's the head? But I just take the shoes. Yeah, yeah, just one will probably be fine, I imagine. You'll get a bit of Yeah, but I'm going to change shoes here. Um, Michael says that my shoes aren't very appropriate for where we're going and he's quite right you've got my willies i've got a set of willies if you want oh them. can i borrow them maybe oh. just just for going to the hospital yeah yeah no they're under my uh, desk i'll get them for let's, let's follow you on live camera as we, we... did you see the helmet with the thing on no yeah Oh yeah, we took the, the ring off. The ring off. Yeah, yeah. cheers, man. Yeah, he looks he looks, he looks more looks awesome scary now. now doesn't yeah, he? he's getting there. Eh? 
Ah, oh, nice one. They're okay, they're safety shoes as well. Cool. What size are they? 10. Probably 10 or 11. Great. Smash them. Thanks, man. I'll just try them on now. Okay, so here we are. Michael's about to take a picture of Tom, who is playing a investigator, supernatural investigator. Yeah. And we're filming in the abandoned children's hospital, uh, which is a famous uh, urban exploration type location, a complex of buildings, which we filmed our popular Elman prank videos at. And uh, you'll see some pictures in a sec as well of shrines that people have made to the Elman based on the popularity of our video. It is totally Candyman-esque. Okay, okay, now we're going to take some pictures of Tom because this is all for his Kickstarter campaign. So, so here we go. I have to get a yard brush. Hmm. I have to get a yard brush to clean it up. Yeah, all of it. Most of the glass, anyway, at least. Yeah. Okay. How are you feeling, Tom, about these sexy modelling shots of you? I'm very excited. They look good. So, tell me about this character that you play. <laughs> well, he's untitled yet. Haven't figured out a name for him. Uh, he's a simple man, ex-journalist, who um, forgets the plot of his own movie. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, he's an ex-journalist who started doing kind of cheesy, almost pathetic, embarrassing paranormal videos and then suddenly the camera's getting too close. <laughs> um, kind of takes inspiration a bit from like Lake Mungo and Borderlands. Yeah, I think it'll be a little bit more... Norai the Curse? Yeah, yeah. it'll be more like Norai the Curse because it's kind of, there's slightly more ridiculous elements to it then. And it's kind of, it's a bit more outdoorsy and, yeah. and real time, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, so, but like, definitely Borderlands and Lake Mungo as well. Yeah. For some of the more serious stuff. So. It's not like the Blair Witch Project then? Uh, no. There was a, they, they were better actors. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're going to do and, fine. And they had like snot running in their nose halfway yeah. through the film, so I'm not sure I can do the snot stuff. We've gathered a bottle of snot though for Beautiful. you to use. So. Yeah. I'm surprised that hasn't hardened into some sort of horrible candle. You know, snap. next, um, after Michael's finished taking pictures of the dolls, we're going to have to take pictures of him. Because That's right. he plays your sidekick in the film, doesn't he? Yes, he does. My cameraman. My, yeah, my sidekick. But somewhere around the corner is Michael with an old children's doll. Okay, let's go and see if Michael needs need some help. Oh, Michael! Mm. It might be somewhere creepy though, I don't know. Michael? Michael! Maybe he's just like... It feels like the start of a... Driven away. Yeah, it feels like the start of a, a horror short. God, oh man, this is a bit like your movie. Yeah. Because your character has a YouTube show. He does. Investigating paranormal phenomena. Some of you might recognise this location also from our film The Unkindness of Ravens where it was used for our depiction of hell, which was pretty intense. Yeah. Where we invented the meat column, but you weren't part of the meat column, no, were you? Wasn't. No, thank fuck. <laughs> I don't think I would have, no, I wouldn't have done it. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, you wouldn't have done the meat column because it required um, sexy male nudity. Correct. Yeah, we had quite a few volunteers though. Come yeah, on. strangely. And then I had to, well, conscript the crew. So the sound guy, poor Dave, all these people, they all had to join the flesh column. They had no idea they were going to. We wouldn't get away with that today. Yeah. Better to burn out than fade away. 
Okay, so now we're packing up. We've got what we needed. Um, photography of your character, Tom, your valuable assistant, Michael's character. And now we are going to head back to our little uh, church studio uh, to set up a green screen so we can take a cool portrait shot of you for a poster. Let's, let's fucking do this! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> So guys, if you would like to follow our behind the scenes videos on our story of how we're building a horror movie studio and making films, then please hit subscribe and the bell notification icon. Also, if you would like to support our channel and all our content, then please do check out our Patreon on the link below. Thanks for watching and goodbye.